my gosh, you guys, we have way too much fun in studio. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My name is again Valentine, but you can find me at Color Me Val on everything. Again, you're watching Why in the Morning. It's a very good Friday, very good. A, because it's a holiday called Good Friday, and then it's a good Friday because you're watching Freestyle Friday on Why in the Morning. Just again, Y254 on Facebook, Why in the Morning TV show on Twitter. No, Instagram, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag Y in the morning, or 22162 is our text line. You start with YM254. Now, we have someone who is an authority on matters religious. So, Pastor Chris is here with us today to talk, us, to, talk to us <laughs> about Good Friday and the Easter holidays. Welcome, Pastor. Good morning. You look very sharp. Thank you so much. Yeah, happy Good Friday. Uh, is that a thing? Like, can I say Happy Good Friday? Yeah, some say Good Friday, oh. some say Holy Friday. Oh. Yeah, some call it um, um, Separated Friday. Separated? Yeah, but whatsoever one, Happy Friday or Happy Good Friday. Ah, that, that goes, that works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walk us through maybe the, the mystery that is Easter. Okay, um, Easter celebration, like we all know, the main Easter is on Sunday. You know, today is like um, the day Christ died, mm -hmm. the crucifixion, mm -hmm. you know. So Easter is a celebration. Christians are supposed to put themselves together and um, think about what are those things that Christ has actually done for us, mm -hmm. the price he paid, and those things which he did for humanity. And um, a lot of people don't really understand what it means. What some persons see it as mm. a celebration day, some see it as a day of engagement, some see it as what a day kind of engagement. engagement you know, some people just engage their, their woman on that day, like <laughs> some take it like one <laughs> of those. Very diplomatic, I but that's see. the truth. <laughs> uh -huh. Some persons um, see it as um, a day where they could just um, go out, have fun with their kids and wife. Mm. Some persons, um, you know, celebrate, cook, eat, mm. dance. You know, a whole lot of things happen, and those in the outside world, you know, those who are those who are known as the unbelievers, outside do world. yeah, outside world. Uh -huh. Now, outside world, I mean, is the W O R O D, not the W O R O L D. Oh, outside the world. Outside the world, yeah. Okay. Those outside the world, uh -huh. may, a lot of them end up celebrating forcefully, like do a lot of things and all. But that is not the major reason mm -hmm. why the Easter has come to be. So I think. Um, Generally, humans have to t take a, a look back of what Easter actually means and what it's talking about. Tell us, what does it actually mean? Because I, I feel like the major holidays, uh, Easter and Christmas, and as we know, it's for eating like and going to the reserve to chill with our families. I'm not my friend. 22162, start with YM254, and let me know what Easter means to you. Yes. Okay. Um, before I, I talk about what Easter means, mm -hmm. You know, many of us have come across this word in the Bible, like A.D. and B.C. Mm -hmm. Now, this word basically are used in um, describing some mighty men in the Bible. Like they tell you Moses, B.C., they tell you Paul, A.D. You know, a lot of persons don't really understand what this thing means. Now, B.C., like we all know, is um, the death, after the death. No, BC is before Christ. What, what does AD stand for? Okay, now, when you look at the word AD, we're talking about the terms Anno. <laughs> it's you called Anno Domini. <laughs> Anno Domini. Domini. Yeah, that word is not an English word. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not an it's English Latin. word. Yeah, it's like a Latin word mm. or, or like a Hebrew word. Mm. You know, originally it's a, it's a Hebrew word. So that word means like before the birth of Christ. And after the death of Christ. So Easter generally is not, Easter Friday is not a celebration day. Mm. Easter Friday is a day of sober reflection. What? A day of sober reflection. What does that even mean? Am I supposed to sit and just okay. in a quiet place for uh, the whole day? Yeah, no, 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 mm. not really sit at a quiet place. In some part of the world, today being the Good Friday, it's been um, respected and it's been observed as a holy day where Christians come together and you have to like imagine the, the great price Christ have 
paid for humanity, you have to like imagine the great price Christ has um, has actually um, 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 the, that that thing, the, the the burden, the pains which he he went through. So mm -hmm. it's not all about celebrating. I think for me, for me, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. If I must celebrate Easter, I should celebrate on Sunday or on Monday. Mm -hmm. But today being Friday is the actual time mm -hmm. where we 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 are to look at the pains he went through. Now, if I must take it back to the exact day it happened. Exact the, day. Yeah, if I must take if I must take the, 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 the clock back to the exact day it happened. Okay, just before you do, I'm, I'm, I told you I'm a bit skeptical because okay. uh, just the other day the Nairobi Meteorological Department told us one Saturday was going to rain cats and dogs, but the sun was shining. So it's hard for me to believe that you can pinpoint the exact time and day that Christ was hung up on that cross. Um, yeah, it's, um, uh -huh. it's not um, something hidden. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is, um, if I must take it back to the exact day Christ died f for us, mm -hmm. um, I think 9 a.m. in the morning was w when he was crucified. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Wait, right in the now morning. it's 8.15. Okay. 8.15, which we are means approaching. in uh -huh. the next 45 for, minutes. For the five minutes as of the exact day uh -huh. Christ was being crucified. 9 a.m. in the morning. You guys, are you feeling this? 221622YM254. Let me know what you think. Continue. So, 9 a.m. in the morning was mm -hmm. the exact day Christ was crucified. Mm -hmm. And, you see, he was there on the cross for several hours. Mm -hmm. He was there 9 a.m., 10, mm -hmm. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. He was nailed for six hours. Then he gave up the ghost by 3 p.m. 3 p.m.? Yeah. So what am I supposed to be doing today at 3 p.m.? Um, it's why? not as if you are supposed to do anything uh -huh. um, new, but you see, a lot of um, deep thoughts and a lot of revelations has been scrambled from our educational system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, students are supposed to learn all this from their basic here in school. They are supposed to learn all this from their basic here while they're growing up, like know when Christ died, know the, the celebration day, know the time, the date. Originally, when you go to Jerusalem, there is a book that was kept outside. This book we are written in scrolls. Mm. You are written in scrolls. And the original date Christ died, mm -hmm. like I saw in Jerusalem, was on the 3rd of April. Mm -hmm. Now, what you must understand is the calendar then is not a calendar now. Okay. That is why you see today, Easter does not have a fixed date. Okay. The Christmas, Jesus, okay, now if, if, I, want, if, I, if I must skip what we're talking about and go to, 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 to the Christmas, uh -huh. Christ did not actually die. Sorry, Christ was naturally born on the 25th of December. Uh -huh. It was the group of elders, the Christian uh -huh. elders, who feel, let's make this date a, a, a memorable one for us to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But on the case of Easter, there is a way it's been monitored. There's a way it's been counted by the Roman Catholics, Mm. and by those who are in charge, the Christian bodies. Mm. So that's why you see, before you see any Easter celebration, some years we have, some, several years ago, we have Easter in February, sometimes we have Easter in March, and we have Easter in, in April. Now, it's been counted after the Ash Wednesday. If you notice, we, we, we do have the Ash Wednesday, where people have the Ash on, 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 on their heads. Just let's uh, get specific a bit. So we have Christianity, and then it's broken down into bits. So who is it who, who you know, I know, tell us where Ash Wednesday comes from, and why it's not all Christians who do it. Okay, now uh, why I will not be too um, deep about that is because um, these um, doctrines or these celebrations are being handled by most of them are being handled by the Roman Catholics, of which I'm not a Roman Catholic. I'm a Pentecostal. Okay. So I, I might not really want to talk more about that so that I don't cross my boundaries. Mm -hmm. You know, it is their field. You're but a I smart know one. yeah, mm -hmm. but I know vividly that Ash Wednesday is like a day after Ash Wednesday, they now know the next the exact day for, mm. for, for um, Easter. Like if you if you notice very well mm. Some days ago, we celebrated the Palm Sunday. Mm. So of which, even if you're blind, even if you cannot see, once, so, so ever you see um, that Palm Sunday, you just know that in less than seven or eight, nine days, mm. we're celebrating extra. 
or Easter, as people might call it. Can we backtrack a bit to this Palm Sunday? On Actually, this past Sunday was Palm Sunday. I saw a lot of people and even vehicles putting up the thingies. Yeah. What's that about? Okay, you see, um, some persons have different meaning for different things. Some people who go with palms is a symbol because I have carried out one or two research about some persons. I don't do that. But I don't condemn those who are doing it. So I, I got is to ask them. Is there a reason for condemnation in the first place? Um, you know, if you go into that, you will discover that, like, we have di different types of or different religions, mm. believe, doctrines, and all that. Mm -hmm. Some people believe in the New Testament, some people believe in the Old Testament, and some people, do, and some people believe in the New and the Old Testament. You know, like, when you check, the Catholics have their own Bible. Oh. Yeah, that is why whenever I am talking about the Catholics, I, mm -hmm. I, there are some things I, do, I don't want to talk about because I don't want to offend my friends mm -hmm. and, and, and maybe loved ones who are in that faith. Mm -hmm. Like the Catholics, so many of them, mm -hmm. when, you read, when you check their Bible, there are some books in their Bible that you, you might not really find in the King James Version. Like or, for example? Uh, I don't really want to... Man, about I'm so that. fascinated. I'm sorry I keep pushing you, but I'm, yeah. I'm quite fascinated. This, these are things I did not know. And again, 22162 is our text. And you start with a YM254. So we have someone who did not tell us their name or where they're watching from, but that's okay. Why Easter? Is there the word Easter in the Bible? Okay. That's a very good um, question. Mm -hmm. The word Easter is not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Just like the way we have the word Christmas. It's not in the Bible. But when you define Easter, mm -hmm. you will see the definition in the Bible. What is the definition of Good. Easter? The celebration or the memorial mm -hmm. of the death of Jesus. Oh. Take for instance, mm -hmm. when you talk about Kenya, mm -hmm. you will not see Kenya in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But you can see East African in the Bible. You can see East in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. Mm -hmm. Now, your name is Val. You can see vow in the Bible, but you can see female in the Bible. So the Bi when the Bible was written, uh -huh. back then it was written in scrolls. And now the Bible was written in scrolls, but it was later translated mm -hmm. down to the world form. Now, a lot of changes has come to be. A lot of changes have come and go. So there are some things that are not in the Bible, but when you define the word, mm -hmm. the definition of the words are in the Bible. Okay, that's very deep. <laughs> 22162 again is our text line. Start with YM254. What is the origin of Easter? It is a fact that Jesus was crucified and rose on the third day. Where is Easter in the Bible? I think I've answered, I've answered um, that. But um, mm -hmm. let's look at the book of Matthew. Okay. When you search where in the book of Matthew, chapter 27, mm -hmm. verse 26, it talks about the crucifixion of Jesus. I should have brought a Bible. Guys, if you're at home and you have a Bible nearby, just take a minute, you know, run, go get it, and then we confirm what is taking And the there is a prophecy about mm -hmm. the death of Jesus. Okay. There is a prophecy about the death of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And this can be seen in the book of Isaiah 53, verse 3 to 5, mm -hmm. the prophecy about Jesus. Mm -hmm. But there's something that struck my mind whenever I, I remember Easter. And that thing that struck my mind is the story of Jesus is not complete until you picture in the story of one man. You can say John the Baptist. Not only John the Baptist. Oh. The story of Jesus is not actually complete until the story of one man comes in. And one man I mean is, it's like a, com a, a commutation. One man I mean is, in every story of Jesus, there is a picture of one person. Mm -hmm. Now, without this story, the history of Jesus is incomplete. Without the story of one man, the history of Jesus is not complete. Would you like to tell us who the man is? Okay. Now, mm -hmm. if I must digest it from the bottom mm -hmm. down to the top. Now, one man I mean is an image, one image, mm -hmm. one person. In every part, in every, in every story, in every bit of the story of Jesus, there's always one person, one person, mm -hmm. one person, one person, one person. Mm -hmm. No, let me start from this. It was just one angel that appeared to the mother of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mary is 
one woman who was dating one man. <laughs> Are you getting the story? Mary is one woman who was dating one man. Okay. <laughs> because Mary is not just the only virgin in that city. Mm. But Mary is just one virgin who had no sexual intercourse with the man she's going out with. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus was born. Mm -hmm. But before Jesus was born, there is one man mm -hmm. who came as a forerunner to him. Okay. One man came to announce about Jesus. Okay. Okay, now, while Jesus began his ministry on earth, when you read your Bible vividly from the book of Matthew, maybe from, from 12, 13, 14, 15, uh -huh. book of Matthew, mm -hmm. you understand vividly that the story of Jesus had a picture of one man, one man. Now, let me go very, very fast. One man sold Jesus. Uh -huh. His name was Judas. Uh -huh. One. Among the 12 disciples, yeah, why are you one man. skipping the 12, though? There are 12 yeah, somewhere. In the there picture. are 12 yeah. disciples. But uh -huh. out of the 12 disciples, one of them mm -hmm. sold Jesus. One of them denied Just Jesus. one. No, one sold him, first of all. Uh -huh. One denied him. Uh -huh. And when one denied him, when they took him to, to, to the governor in the book of Mark, when he was taken down to the governor, the Bible says, the governor said, I have nothing against this man. Mm -hmm. But the wife of the governor said, release unto us one man, which is called Barnabas. Oh, yeah. So huh? one man was released for <laughs> Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 are, you, are you getting the picture? I understand. You one man thought. committed a sin. Yeah. Now, they have to release one man for another man to die. Mm. Now, they said, release to us Barnabas, kill Jesus. Now, the story didn't they end there. Now, this, the, the, the story of one man followed Jesus to the cross. There were two thieves beside Jesus. One of Hold them... It, but there were two. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying to tell you something. There uh -huh. were two thieves. Uh -huh. One of them said, hey, come on. I thought you were the Messiah. Uh -huh. Why don't you save yourself? I thought you were the king of kings. One man spoke against him at the cross. Uh -huh. Now, for the Bible to be complete, another one man stood for him and said, hey, shut up. This man has not done anything. We are criminals, we are arm robbers, and we've done all manner of things. One man. And uh, there are some words Jesus spoke on the cross before he died. He said, Mother, behold thy son. Mm -hmm. Son is one. Mm -hmm. Mother is one. Behold thy son, one. Now, when Jesus died, mm -hmm. the 12 disciples were nowhere to be found. The parents were nowhere to be found. The followers were nowhere to be found. It was one man that demanded for his body to bury, called Joseph of Arimathea. So when you look, when you look at the story of Jesus, it has something to do with one, 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 one. Okay, now when he died and was kept in the tomb, I think I thought or I'm thinking Jesus Christ looked at his life while he was on earth and discovered that he has always met with one person, one person. One person, one person, one person. So when he rose from the dead, he showed himself to one person first. Mm -hmm. That is Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the story of Jesus or this Easter celebration is not complete until the story of one man plays in. Oh, I think I have another one. So when he was walking, walking, walking and carrying his own cross, only one man helped him. Ah! Wow, wow. I got the hang That's of great. it, didn't I? That's great. Hey! When he was carrying the cross, <laughs> uh -huh. he was being flogged. He was given vinegar to drink. Mm. They have thorns on his head. Just one man, mm -hmm. you know, solo seated and said, hey, can I just help this man pick the cross? Anyway, so many persons there. So I think Easter Friday mm -hmm. or Easter celebration, we should have a reflection of that word, one man. Okay. There was one man for Jesus. One man was with him. One man was against him. Mm -hmm. One man buried him. Mm -hmm. And when he came forth to the earth, mm -hmm. he said, no. I have to show myself to one person. Mm. It was one person who saw him first. Mm -hmm. He said, go and tell them that he has risen. So which means uh, every Christian or every believer mm -hmm. on the mind of the church you are saying or, or the background you're coming from, we should understand that Easter, Easter mm -hmm. is not just a day of celebration. You have to reflect on uh -huh. some, some basic things that happen in the Bible. Uh -huh. You have to ask yourself, what exactly did this man did? Mm -hmm. What did the Messiah did? What was his problem? You know, like I, I, I was preaching somewhere okay. one day and somebody asked me a question. Mm -hmm. The person said, can you take bullets for an arm robber mm -hmm. as a pastor? Mm -hmm. Like a, a, an arm robber who has 
committed a sin mm -hmm. and um they were like hey pastor can you go and stand for the army we were like you be detained and let him be mm. released i said no i said ah i thought you were a pastor why can't a pastor do that i said hey point of correction i am a pastor my name is chris uh -huh. i'm not jesus oh jesus amen. came to die uh -huh. for us mm. he's from nazareth mm. i'm from nigeria <laughs> So we are, we are not of the same, I guess what I'm saying. Jesus Christ is a Messiah. He's a son of God. I'm the son of Ajabo. You understand? He's son of Joseph. I have my own father. He's from Nazareth. I'm from Africa. He came to die. I have mission on earth. I have to fulfill my mission and, and, and vision on earth. So I didn't come to die. Yeah, that's the truth. I like that. So, okay, we're right, wrapping this up. So I want you to give maybe like, uh, 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 how to say, motivational something or wish them good tidings during this Easter season and remind them what the most important thing is. Okay, I, I, I would like to say this um, for the uh, benefit of those who are watching. Mm -hmm. Easter celebration is, or Easter, the Good Friday. Uh, before I say that, mm -hmm. there are some part, there are some persons in the world who don't eat meat today. Yes, except yeah. fish. There are some persons who don't mm. eat bloody animals today, mm -hmm. saying that when they eat fish and when they eat meat, they are eating the body of Jesus. Well, what? Yeah, I wouldn't like to talk about that, but I, I, I believe um, it's a deception and um, it's just a religion. So back to what you said, I uh -huh. think today is Easter Friday or Good Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to tell everyone out there to um, be steadfast but you have to do a sober reflection about what it means. You have to do a sober reflection of what it's all about. You have to do a sober reflection of what are the attributes that led to the death of Jesus. His crucifixion, he wept for us, he died for humanity. He was sent to this world to die for our sins. He was sent to this world to die for our iniquity. The truth is this. If Jesus is asked to come back to this earth today, he might not want to come back again. The reason is because the gravity of sin we have on earth today is far higher than the sin. How do you know? Yes. How you know? No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's very easy. You can know. Yes. The gravity of sin, because we are, we are, we are on earth, we are not in the, the other planets. We are on earth here, we're seeing what is happening. So the gravity of sin occurring on the earth now it's high. It's on the high side. Okay, let's finish because I, I might just interrupt you again. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I, I wish everyone a, a happy celebration on Sunday because you are not permitted to celebrate today. Today is when he was being crucified, nailed, humiliated, flogged for our sake. So you should, wherever you're watching me, you should like have a deep reflection of what are those sins I am committing which he has died for. It's not a day for you to move into the pub and drink alcohol and get drunk. It's not a day for you to commit iniquities and sin. It's not a day for you to um, get a woman engaged or a day for you to party around. It's a day for you to think. This man actually died exactly today, several years ago. What is that sin I, have, I am committing which he has paid the price for me you know we have to think about that and um put our way straight mm. you have a very interesting choice of words Sijui engagement Sijui celebrating Ati, but not permitted but we're kenyans and kenyans will do what they gotta do we are on africans. long holidays we are africans thank you for understanding we so are even in nigeria it's the same or even in south sudan eh. I like that. Okay, guys. All part of the world. Again, as I said, we just had a pastor, Chris. Can I tell them your other name, please? No? Uh, he's refused, but it's fine. Pastor Chris was with us today. My name is Valentine or Kalamida, and we have more for you on Why in the Morning.